us two. This morning we got two squirrels right now. This morning bawling at me. And this is, I think, the 11th of uh, March 2019. So squirrels are having a, a good day. So I'm going to cut a load of wood in now. This is a most, I'm going to bottle kill that with a lamb wood stove. I'm going to make I've got a vent over on this side. This is just a whole thing I'm going to make for oil in the kettle. This is the vent I'm making right here. Take that out, piece out, and we'll draw air in and put the fire down the water to bottle kill. That's the vent for my stove. Oh, I'll get a bit of birch bark now. This is birch bark. This is the stuff that's good for lighting fires. I'm going to uh, try out my new wood stove. There now. And probably tomorrow, I'm going to uh, in. And the missus is going to come in and have a ball up. <laughs> a few splits. Okay. A few splits now. Got a bit fine down there. Now I got that stag full of twigs and stuff, and then a little piece of birch bark, and stick it in there and see what it burn. There she goes. Now that'll burn for quite a while. I need some dry wood, so I'll just let that burn away for a see A few pieces of brass in there. The 
close it off. <coughs> now I can't get out. goes again. You can get a dry stick put down in there and that will burn, burn fast. Yep, you can see it's, it's burning. Now that stump is not dry. It's very, very wet. It's a fur. That one won't burn out this year. Unless you build a big fire around it outside, and it'll be a good spot to uh, boil the kettle while I'm in cutting a bit of wood, which I'm going to do. So, yeah, it's burning well, burning well there now. And the full effects of that was in the night, and this is the vent right here. And you hear the, it's the sound. You can see the fire in the night, it'll be the best time to look at it. 15 minutes now so far since I since I lit up that fire and it's pretty hot. I'm not over the ball to kill I should have bought in my kettle I guess. Yeah, I left it on and on top of that one right there, you'll boil that up in like three or four minutes. A liter of water. You'll boil easy in a can. Yeah, and that's the big one right there. I'm going to take some of that one again. I want to leave to go out. That's a big old fur. Yeah. He's a bit wet. I thought it was a wheat spruce. But we got a juniper right there too that I'm going to get. And another big one over that way. So that'll be enough wood for me for this year. Good thing about this is you can stick a dry one into the end of it right there. You don't even have to chop it up. Just stick it in and keep pushing it in there after a while. And then you get another one. It'll burn all night. Old Newfie wood stove. Yeah. Uh -uh. And for this uh, rig, all you gotta do is find a big tree. Usually they're burnt out or not burnt out, but rotten in the middle. And you just go up there a couple of feet from the bottom and uh, saw it off. And if you run into some rot, move up another bit. There's no idea how long it is. Longer. Uh, well, so long as not over here like five feet or something like that is alright and it makes a real good uh, place to ball, ball up and once it burns then there's a job to get it to burn again so when it dries out it'll burn of course cut off the air supply it dies right down Open it up. And here it comes back. Just like a train. See the fire coming up there. Right there on the top of this is a place for your moose sausages in a cast iron frying pan. And it uh, won't take very long, I tell you, to uh, you'll have a meal. Um, I'm going to shut her down now. 
and I'll have a look at that again when I come back again in a couple of days. Okay, so just shut down now. And there you go. I might show it. This is my load again. Very nice day. Early a cloud. Actually, I don't even see any clouds. <laughs> anyway, get out with that now. It's getting warm. It's two degrees above zero Celsius. And it's the 10th, 11th, or something of March.